when we started the project, I remember um, by 1992, we were down in Florida and I was training people to do the CE5 initiative where close encounters of the fifth kind where humans intentionally make contact. And we were out on a beach and you probably have seen, if you've seen the film Sirius, a very bad footage back then, high eight camera, but we were doing this and then four ET crap popped, just pop, 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 pop. And in the film it doesn't look, but they were quite close, they were kind of blue, um, beautiful, kind of circular with light in the center. And there was a colonel in the Air Force there and there was a guy who ended up writing uh, Bush's Brain, you know, about Karl Rove, the guy who wrote that book, Moore, he was there, all a bunch of people. And it was just a weekend thing. And of course, this went boom, straight up the chain of command. So within a month, I was getting contacts from the intelligence community. And basically, they said, what the hell do you think you're doing? I said, well, I think it's time for universal peace. And I don't think the government and the UN is going to do it. So I think we should. <laughs> And in my inimitable way, I sort of, I just said, isn't it time for us to move on? I mean, world peace was supposed to be established, uh, you know, like 100 years ago with the League of Nations. I said, we don't have time for that. It's time for universal peace. We blew through that window. Uh, and we're being visited because once we started detonating atomic weapons, boom, the whole universe came over to say, what in the world are these... <laughs> guys doing on this planet. And that's really how it all got ramped up. I mean, anyone who knows the, the story um, uh, and, and the witnesses and the disclosure project. But it was interesting perspective. So I was asked to come to this conference and all the remote viewers, NSA, CIA were there and the head of army intelligence and a bunch of folks. And they, I didn't know why, I, I went, sort of, I was naive back then. And I was, was put at the head table, sitting bes between the general and this spook, the spy from the National Security Agency. And um, they said, well, you heard about your little uh, expedition in Florida. I said, oh, yeah. I said, you want to hear that? I told them. They said, well, we want to talk to you about that. So, boom, to a room till 3 in the morning, where they tried to rubber hose me. And... <laughs> and, and interestingly, they were really concerned about this. The whole reason the Disclosure Project happened is because people on the friendly end of the intelligence community who wants, want this out reached out, but then the unfriendlies came at me like a pack of wolves. But the, the, <laughs> the upshot of this meeting was they said, well, who the hell do you think you are? You don't have permission to do this. I said, I don't need your permission. I'm a citizen of the cosmos. I'm a free person. Um, and I said, I'm not going to be intimidated by you. And I said, you know, go pound salt in someone else's sandbox. Um, and, you know, I was, I'm very blunt and, and about that. You know, I mean, you're kind of, and, uh, you know, but they were really getting nasty. And, and I, it, later, it, it came out that a, a, a a very good friend of Prince Charles's was there, and, um, and a woman, and she's very supportive of what we're doing, real friendly. And she said to me, you know, they're really jealous of you. I said, what? I'm a country doctor rambling around in an ER doing this because I think it's the right thing to do. And they said, no, you're free. You're free. They're in this box. And they know that, that this is the Rosetta Stone of interstellar contact and communication in the future. And they can't go out of the box that they've been assigned without being whacked, literally. I mean, it's terminate with extreme prejudice, TWEP. So that's what it's called. So I said, oh, that's an interesting perspective. Now, this is in you know, the spring of 1992, 23 years ago. And so what I began to, to realize is that we really are free. Thank God we're not the president of the United States or the director of the CIA or the people like that because we're free. We're not on anyone's leash. And the power of the Close Encounters of the Fifth Kind Initiative is people going out doing this on their own and that they cannot contain. Uh, they've contained a lot. Free energy, anti-gravity, the fact that we're not, a whole lot of stuff that I've been working for 25 years to bring out. 
but they can't control thousands, millions of people who know about this now, who are 